We had some good ass conversations with the team recently. Imagine like I'm even nervous to have conversations that are not recorded because people forget what the hell they just said with right. their own words and we right. gonna get into it too you gotta damn near say it beforehand like hey i'm about to say some shit, but it's out of love bro i'm gonna say it might be blunt below on the scale of one to ten how comfortable are you talking about your business Ass. funding process it's triggering no it's not doing it. all right cool yeah. thank you for being honest with that yeah, yeah. we can talk about it Actually. We can? You can. Okay. okay, cool. These are real conversations that we have as a team that I'm letting y'all know. Some people think they down bad and it's all about perspective because imagine like if your starting point is negative 45,000 and then their starting point is no debt at all. Who got more money? <laughs> Everyone's situation different. Everyone's life, literally the path they walk is completely different. It gotta be there. I'm damn near not even gonna say some shit like that to nobody unless I love you for real. You know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like, I don't give a fuck about the fuck ups you got going on in your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's another conversation. As a friend, like, if I'm seeing you, I'm, I'm, bro, we could be doing it. We, what you doing? You no, know what I'm saying? That's like, what I'm saying. Out of love. Yeah. We're yeah. Friends. If it's, if it's I wouldn't someone out of love. Anybody or from regular besides, motherfuckers. Yeah. Okay. I would say, but from like, a motherfucker right. that you, that's, Present, mm -hmm. that's your boy, your homie, your partner, whatever you're saying, mm -hmm. your peoples. No, I get you. If you're fully capable of doing it, then like get up and do your best every single day. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And it's never too late to try. You know what I'm saying? Like, Given the, no matter how the stars align for your past, whatever you got going on for your future is completely up to you. So in order to look out for our homies, we make sure everybody around us got an LLC at the least. And that's just LLC. There's corporations, there's escorts. Well, I'm saying at the very least, y'all, like plant that seed. Become corporate America. Don't let corporate America become you. Yo, what up, y'all? It's the Delete Kings podcast. I go by the name. Y'all already know who it is, man. It's us, yo. So we are back with another episode. I just got back from Atlanta, fresh from the podcast summit. Shout out to them. I actually, the video before this, or however I upload all these videos, because I still got a whole bunch of videos in the backlog for the podcast. Probably six episodes in the chamber that I got to Drop edit. that shit. You know what I mean? But... Long story short, I did a podcast summit review. Y'all go check out that video of my opinion on the podcast summit in Atlanta. I got to network. I got to meet a whole bunch of entrepreneurs. I ain't going to do all the name dropping right now. But what we do you think get... was the uh, most valuable piece of game that you picked up from being over there? <sighs> Man, there was this guy. His name was Marcus talking on stage. Okay. And he was pretty much saying, don't let an old situation hold you back from investing into the thing you know you got to invest in. Like, you got to invest in yourself. And it's something I think about every day, like, because I'm ready to invest in myself at all times, but it's just like, man, I done took a couple of L's, right? And, it, like, investing also involves trusting people. So... It be difficult at times, and you you don't want to be that guy that's like skeptical, you know. Like if you want to work with somebody that's posting all their results, and then you hop on a consultation call with them, and you still on the fence. I like to like hop on calls where like I'm pretty much got my mind made up, and then we're having the actual consultation. Like, how can what you do for other people actually help my situation? I see. Right. Okay. So. That's what it sounds like. You dropped some game on you. For yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, when like when he got on stage, it was like, that's why I hopped on this flight to hear him say that, you know. There was a couple of different people on stage. But so that's the, the one guy piece I'm talking that about, really stuck with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he stuck. His name was Marcus. Um, not him 500. I seen him 500 there. Uh, I didn't get a picture with him, but I got a picture with uh, Neo. I didn't go there to get <clears throat> pictures or whatever. Right, yeah. But I went network. there to network. Yeah. You know, I got the meet. Uh, Neil Myers Davis, like he's a huge, he's a big deal. Um, who else did I get? To, I got to meet her Haitian CEO. I got to meet Francis, just uh, everybody in the space. That's why I went because I, I don't be popping out to events like that. And honestly, you got a network. Do you got a network? I don't know. There's some people that keep to themselves in this industry I look up to, but I'm not that social as a person, like right. you know what I'm saying. So I gotta get out that shell. Yeah, yeah go out gotta your way. Shake for hands, sure. politic, you know. Besides you know? that, though, besides networking stuff, did you enjoy yourself? I did enjoy myself. What else did you do out there? It could have been, could have been better. Maybe because of the weather, it was like hot and it was cold, and it's like mm. it was freezing cold indoors and it was hot as hell outside. <laughs> so I didn't really do much outside of just 
um, really network and get as many contacts as I can. And at the end of the day, Where I was did meet. Summit? It was in Atlanta. Atlanta. And I was just that, like yeah. networking hard as hell to try and find people in Chicago. Is that like I mean, an annual thing that happens? Yeah, it's an annual thing. But this is okay. the second time they did it. Is right? this the first time that you've uh, participated? Yeah, it's the first time I popped out to anything of this nature. There's like a credit convention for people that's in the credit space, business funding space. Okay. And then there's Invest Fest, right? So I didn't go to the last two Invest Fest. Probably should have wanted it to, now, but it's just like, sure. uh, you know, I am still debating if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go to the next one that's coming. Boy, out. we are going. What are yeah, you talking I'm about? Saying, We're yeah. going Gotta suited be, uh, and booted, boy. We're driving the Lambos out. Fucking Ferrari behind us. Yeah, so about last year, I think they had Diddy as like the main headliner of Invest. No Fest. Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. This year, guess who they got? No Diddy. Fitty. You know what I'm saying? They got Fitty Cent. Oh. Um, they got Fitty. Fitty got Fitty Cent. But we there. The thing about the thing the thing <laughs> I like about the speed. podcast summit. <laughs> Like, it wasn't about clout. It was really like who was there was supposed to be there. Like, if you really had like a podcast, like you there to learn, get information. It wasn't really, they didn't have to do no high status celebrity to get people in the door. And almost like, I think more than a thousand people came. You know, I got that VIP ticket and I really wanted to see Vio to pop through, but. You, you, you know, when your when your lady's on a verge of giving birth, you yeah, know, it get, time happen. gets real hard, especially when it's literally the month of possible birth. Mm -hmm. Right, know? right. So I completely understood. He didn't have to say much. I was like, completely understand. And, you know, it, it, it is an investment to get down there at the end of the day. I went there, I was repping, you know, this isn't the official merch. This was an emergency joint, but, you know, repping the brand and... You got to let the people know who you are. At the end of the day, I met some people in Chicago. They also got like event spaces and podcasts. And I was just networking. So we're going to hopefully see some more guests from, the, you know, the podcast summit and collaborate with other people that do podcasts as well. All that, you know. But topic for today. Let's get into it. Man. So what do you, what do you, what do y'all come here to, to, to hear? Pretty much you, you are now witnessing a team of entrepreneurs on the way to millions and millions and millions. So we naturally had these conversations. We had some good ass conversations with the team recently. You know what I'm saying? One where this is topic number one, I feel like CVO forgot the struggle. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like he, he in a good position right now. He on the way up. Well, we gonna, I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? Because we were comparing his situation to somebody else's situation. And I was like, it's apples to apples to me, right? And then we're going to touch on my homie b Low situation right here, right? Without being too much in his business. But we gave him some homework to do. We gave him some homework to do. And his, how he felt about it, he brought up how he felt about it, right? So what do I mean by C CVO, man? For the record, bro, you would have said, you would have told the story on your come up while you was shooting videos, mm -hmm. working a job, mm -hmm. <laughs> and just, you grinding. Right. And it's like, no, you was doing like three things. It was the, I feel like it was, you was working two jobs or? No, I was working, I was working on my nine to five, but then I was shooting videos. Yeah, so shooting I, so videos. I was, it was back, was back and forth. Yeah. Back, back, back to back. Uh-huh. All right, cool. All right, cool. So... CVO got a homie we was chopping it up with. Oh, he, my he, homie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we're not going to get too into specifics, right? But homie was saying he was, he was struggling right now. But CVO's been helping him out. So I was like, all right, how's CVO helping out? So I, I already got another episode called Helping Ain't Helping, or maybe that's not out yet. But the idea is both y'all came from the same struggle. And then it was going back and forth with me like, it's different, though. And I was like, how's it different, though? Right? Uh-huh. So I was like, all right, CVO. Like, because if, if CVO is the one helping you and you following CVO's lead, right? It's like, what are you doing different than CVO, right? You're going to tell them how to get to where you are because that's what you're trying to do, right? All right. All right, cool. So we we took a couple steps back. I was like, all right, what did you do, right, when you was down bad? But I feel like you almost didn't. Were you down bad ever in life? I mean, 
I was just a student debt, you know what I mean? Right, if you, cool. Like, if you want to say cl clarify that as down bad, some people be like, oh, I just got student debt. Oh, I had student debt that I just didn't want. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Now, I would even say this. Like, some people think they down bad, and it's all about perspective. Because imagine, like, if your starting point is negative 45000 and then their starting point is no debt at all, who got more money? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they ain't got I mean, no debt. They I just, think I think they, the I think the differences between that conversation probably were more along the parameters of the fact that, like, yeah, two people might have, you know, started at similar places, but based on the outcome of their life, one person may have the means to handle those, you know, those negative funds in a different way. You know what I'm saying? They've lined themselves up in a better way. Not to say that that's an excuse for someone to, you know, ideally we're not all where we want to be and we're all working towards where we want to go. Yeah. You know, and throughout that path, people take different, you know, courses to get there. So you feel me? That's why I hit you. I was like, we all had, we all have struggles. You know what I'm saying? We all have our own story, but it really be different, you know? Like it really do. Everyone's situation is different. Everyone's life, they lead the path they walk is completely different. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. I'm trying to like even with you, show hey, here, here, walk these steps, walk yeah. this path, yeah. and you're gonna be good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely I, like you did for me, I'm trying to do that for others, especially yeah. for my people. Yeah. But the path that they were on before they got to me, you know what I'm saying, is a path that they didn't walk. You know what I'm saying? So for that situation alone, the path he walked and the path I walk was completely different. You feel me? Until we're now we're syncing up like, hey, I want you to walk with me. Walk with me. Let's take the same steps and let's go from here. I don't want to get into the details, but it is more so the situation where we got to the path where we we're trying to get in sync. And we got to the conclusion that Buddy's trying to take the same steps as you. And then when I went back in time and found like, what steps did you take? Because mm -hmm. this is, you know, we, we talk about business funding all the time. We found out way back in your past somewhere, you opened up an LLC. Right. And you're reaping the benefits of opening an aged LLC. So that was, the, that was what the center of the conversation was focused on. Right. It was a plant the seed. Plant the seed. That's the same steps as I yeah. took. Right. Yeah. No, but I get Better that. But again, never. when when again with some someone's means and like I guess situations are a certain way, that may be hard for a second. Or just you, you know, know what I'm saying? Compare and contrast struggles, exactly. You know what I'm so saying? that's why, like with yeah. that's why yeah. that's why it's with different. when it's a team or as you were saying, like you said, it's my homie, I'm looking out for him. That's why I was like, hey, whatever we can do, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? I'm learning from the mistakes that yeah. you didn't already took. Same yeah. thing with the fun and stuff, credit stuff, learn, you know what I'm saying? Learn from you. Yeah. So that's you know, like that's the steps that he's gonna take. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. So it's like I'm also giving guidance, I'm giving help. I'm making sure that okay, whatever he needs, he's gonna be good because I know in the back end, I know we're all gonna be good. And as my brother, as my as my homie, and as a mentee partner, the whole nine yards. I, there's there's nothing but love at the end of the, at, at the, end of the road. You feel me? Hundred percent. So hundred percent. It's all it's all love at the end of the day, man. So the highlight of that conversation was getting the LLC established as an emergency. Uh, so this is a PSA for all of y'all out there. Like, however much it costs, get that joint established and existing. I got a few LLCs, but if I could go back in time, I would have registered like twenty of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like by any means necessary in a way. Cause like I was trying to compare struggles in a way. I was trying to compare his expenses and what he got going on to like your student loans. Try and put you on the same starting line, like playing field. And then when I say you, I started off saying you forgot the struggle. Cause it's like you was just grinding, you was just in it. Like 45,000 in debt is like no small feat for majority of people. Right. Like, but the way you describe it, like, no, nah, I was working this job and working this job and I got it done. I was like, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, as my homeboy Colin would say, the shit was just divine line. I'm gonna say whatever. How I'm saying the shit just lined it up and where a situation for a certain situation. Like the next person outside of me, his situation is probably way better than mine. He didn't have to work no job. He was probably born into a million. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just however the little 
fucking stars. Yeah, line. you play with the cards you're dealt, and I think what I was trying to emphasize is like the you, your homie got the same twenty four hours, but but you guys were saying he doesn't because of his living situation, but. I just no. We all like, have the same I just, I just meant hours. Like we both we're limbs. We're, we're like we're not. We don't have diseases. Like we, you know, what I'm saying you, you you're missing an eye. You know, what I'm saying like you you. No, I get you. If you're you fully know, capable of doing it, then like get up and do your best every single day. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's never too late to try. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like given the, no matter how the stars align for your past, whatever you got going on for your future is completely up to you. So yeah, you yeah. That's today, what I was trying to. That's like, that's the point I was trying to get across during that conversation. And these are real conversations that we have. Like has a team that I'm let, letting y'all know, you know, um, at the end of the day. So in order to look out for our homies, we make sure everybody around us got an LLC at the least. And that's just LLC. There's corporations, there's escorts. Well, I'm saying at the very least, y'all, like plant that seed. You know, you, you go you become go corporate America. Don't let corporate America become you. So given exactly. given the fact of that topic, that since you have brought that up about, you know, Planet our seeds. boy and stuff, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I guess this question would probably be towards directed towards you. Yeah. You know, so like going about, you know, developing your businesses and whatnot, how have you managed your work life and your personal life? Because it seems like you got it all figured out, but tell me some tricks of the trade because I'm sure a lot of people are struggling right now that are very interested in wanting to do what we're doing, but get discouraged because of life. So yeah. what what do you do to separate yourself from the bunch? So, man, I be getting discouraged like every day. I be feeling like I'm understaffed. I be feeling like I don't have enough help. And if the question is in regards to work-life balance, it don't exist for me. I've been obsessed with the idea of making millions since a child, even There's before. There's got to be something you know in life that pushes you in the wrong direction sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what I would say is sometimes as an entrepreneur, you got to be disciplined enough. Mentally. Just mentally. To like life. the last two days, I woke up at six. Usually wake up right, right before eight. You know what I'm saying? It used to be, it used to be nine. You know what I'm saying? But I would say that as recent as the last two days, like 6 a.m., I was in the shower by 6.03. Like I wanted to go to sleep for an extra hour. And I mm -hmm. knew for a fact I'm going to be tired three hours from now. But the lifestyle of just being a workaholic, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. So I bring up that example first because it's just like discipline. There's times where as an entrepreneur, if you ain't clocking in, mm -hmm. if you don't feel the consequence of not clocking in at nine on a dot. It's probably ain't for you. As an entrepreneur, yeah. it's challenging, mm. right? We got to, I got to, you know, entrepreneurs, we got to make our income from scratch. If your marketing on point, you ain't getting leads in. If, if your word of mouth ain't on point, you know what I'm saying? Results slow down. Whatever happens, it's still on you mm. to make your income from scratch, from scratch, Get it out the mud, like yeah. figure it out, you know, legally. So what are some like day-to-day -day habits that you've developed for yourself to like be so consistent with the schedule that Morning you Morning routine keep? for sure. Morning routine? Morning routine okay. for sure. You know, a little bit of clarity. I might take a walk around the block, but I got a morning routine, like five things I got to do, including cleaning on the mornings. Definitely got to say your prayers, you know, um, every time every day you have some sort of consistency before things get hectic around 10 a.m you know what i'm saying 10 a.m my laptop's open i'm doing some productive wow i'm alert like you just woke up so like your mind is like kind of kind of like a fresh day it's an opportunity damn we're thankful to be alive let's get it before we go out through the day you know sun's rising it's getting hot damn you need an ac boom Probably like two, 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 two o'clock, three p.m. You're starting to get, starting to get a little wore down, or whatever. It depends what type of entrepreneur you are. Because some people they act like they just run, they just run twenty four seven, right? Evening time, you get decision fatigue or whatever. So I'm saying it's important to have that morning routine, and then do as much as you can, like in the beginning of the day. You know, from nine to five, the banks are open. So you do what I do. We're trying to squeeze in as many appointments as possible. Even like the day we got your account open in four minutes flat. You know what I'm saying? And he got you pre-approved, by the way. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. But like, I'm trying to squeeze in as many appointments. I'm really hands on my clients. I'm answering questions. Everybody's awake and alert. You know what I mean? So 
I try and make those hours as productive as possible. I don't feel like anybody should be really messing around between, you know, 9.30 and 6 for real. Like, you can't be wasting those hours, entrepreneur or not. You feel me? Unless you just really got it like that. Unless you really got it. Unless every day of your life is a vacation. Hey, man, we on the way up. And I can admit that on the way up. It is what it is. Okay. Like, I don't have that luxury to chill, mm -hmm. relax. Huh? When? You know what I'm saying? So, struggles that I deal with is really, is really like self-discipline. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been meaning to get a neon sign that says, help is not on the way. Like, nobody's coming to save you. Right. It's not happening. Like, I can imagine yeah. the closest I've come. Man, what's the closest I've come, bro? Like, this nigga CVO, bro, he's been very... Because he has the ability to listen, follow through, and be trustworthy, it's, it's been it's been a it's been a beneficial situation. You know what I mean? Be able to do business with a CVO. Like, damn, you, I trust you, this nigga. I remember with a lot of money. Uh, earlier you had mentioned <laughs> that like you feel as if you're like an antisocial person. So like, he's like the opposite. So like that how, balances how did that out. Happen? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm like, saying? Like, me, I don't know if antisocial is the wrong word for it because. You know, maybe it's just a lack of vocabulary we're using that word. But what I would say is this. I'm not the type to really start conversations unless I'm really out there trying to network. I'm trying to but get yeah, out of my comfort zone in business Definitely. networking. Like, my life depends on it. I have to, got to find the next, who's going <clears> to <throat> be a part of the team and beneficial, whose life can I, you know, where can I add value? Like, my mentors, I reached out to them. I was like... Hey, um, I can do this for you. Like, I, f I try to find situations I can add value, right? Whether it's a person's ahead of me or a person's like trying to catch up to me, right? But like, as far as being social and networking, man, I I personally got a bad taste in my mouth. Pause, whatever. But like, from people not being who they say they are, not keeping a word, and just, just completely delusional not, not, about it. Yeah, I feel like, like imagine like I even I'm even nervous to have conversations that are not recorded because people forget what the hell they just said with right. their own words and we right. gonna get into it too. But like I'll be having mutual goals with people and like you know I like so I put it like this as far as networking. I didn't network with a few people that were supposed to be business partners or whatever. I have this assumption about them when I meet them, maybe maybe before I meet them, when I start, you know, communicating with them and then the impression they give me, right? Maybe they're path pathological liars or psychopaths or whatever. <laughs> well, maybe they don't know they're lying or they're just maybe they don't know their own they're tendencies. just fucked up in the head. Okay, okay. So Damn. I might be able to take their word for it. Until I That's see it. the red flags over time. But then, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, people, like, and I'd be finding out, like, I'm way more beneficial to them than they are to me. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine, oh, man, I ain't going to say that. It's too embarrassing. I got I got an embarrassing situation where I thought somebody was smarter than me. What are you going to say? No, say what you look at it. Yeah. It does. That's why I'm like, yo, let me tell you, I've been in some situations. No, I mean, look at how I look. This is how I see your networking and my networking I was gonna, is I two different just about to ask like, you, literally. So, like, yeah. I mean, with me, like, as far as networking, like, you got to think of it as like, like a network, like a spider web. You know, the, your Love partners and business people go over there. You know what I'm saying? The music people go over there. The cool people that, you know what I'm saying? Go over there. You just stretch your network as far as possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not looking at every person I meet like, oh, we're going to be a business partner. You know what I'm saying? I, I are you, Like, no. I put people in categories for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As you should. But when I'm so. seeking, when I'm seeking a mentor specifically, like, but, I can like, count is on my that, one like, As far as, hold on, but like, as far as like, when your networking process, is that, you're ultimately like, is that what you like? Or right, if I'm even networking, I'm only I'm looking for a mentor. Like with me, I just feel like networking is if there's a hundred people, I'm gonna talk to all a hundred people. Whether it's you're on some mentor shit or you're what what you say that's on a come up, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk. You same know thing, I mean? same thing. Like the same way I invited some of the people we had on this podcast, I say, hey, pull up. We'll just 
record a conversation while we're actually networking to actually accomplish a mutual goal. I'm going to tell you all about the Lead Kings, right? You've witnessed that a few times, right? A couple of videographers came through. That's me networking. And the idea of this podcast, have some super rich, successful, whatever people that know what they're talking about, that's legit, come on here too and we get the sauce and see how we can have mutual value, right? So there are time and place for a specific type of networking, but when I'm when I'm looking for advice, I'm looking for guidance in but that, life. That, I wouldn't think well, that then, was networking. <clears throat> yeah, I was just about to say that's not. I mean, I wouldn't consider. That, I wouldn't that, consider that. Like, what, what, what would you be say? Like, that is? What, so, all right. So finding a mentor, like you, you, yeah, you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, like, you're so, finding a partner. You like you're looking for a partner. You're looking that's for what you know I'm saying. Like yeah, that's that. What I'm that like me looking for a partner and me networking is two different things. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, here's the thing. So I mean, it's hand in hand. You got to talk to the person. You know what I'm saying? But like, what level they are? But the the type of networking that is being done with a regular person or whoever so and based are, on that person so like, are like some strategies that you will go about like trying to attract and retain customers and or you know just a network individual if to retain customers my network is more one showing them the work you know i when i'm showing them the work i also tell them i can provide them the work and i'm also looking at their work you know and it's like man hey bro we could shoot a movie i gotta shot a movie to this you know, I'm I'm over here looking at their video that was already shot, and, yeah, when and I'm catching it. Ah, like, I think about Come what you're saying when uh, you. I felt like you were just about to say it, but didn't complete it. You said, "I walk into a room and there's 100 people. I'm gonna talk to 100. Out of that 100, there could be at least." Oh yeah, exactly. There could be a one person that you know I'm gonna benefit saying? from. Like, there's one person I can get on credit repairs. One person that wants to book with the team that has heard this or this about me, or right. I've heard something about them. Like. Out of a hundred people, I can get one person now, I and I can just based on talking to all of them. They may not be in the niche or whatever they got going on at that moment, but I'm gonna talk to them and gain something from that shit. They they could be, shit, I'm a nurse. Shit, I might call you if I'm dying. Well, hi. So, <laughs> yeah, like, so let's, let's, for real, like so it could I, be anything, bro. I, like I, I like put garbage in, man, shit. My guy yeah, need a garbage yeah. job. Shit, Send he be looking. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you see that? Send me the bottle of water. Nah, wait, wait, wait. In, in, in Are terms you gonna of die if you don't drink? I think so. Realistically, Realistically, you feel me? I so don't you me. think that you cannot survive without drinking this water? You should have been like, you thirsty? Drink. Water. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. to put it in context, That's right? Like, you must have... Nigga thirsty. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Nah, but to back to the original question you was asking me, right? Because it had to do with, am I anti-social? What's wrong with networking, right? I was just breaking down the reason why, where my where? paranoia comes from, is when over... Time reveals true colors. So I've worked with people and they were supposed to be, let's say, a mentor role. And they turned out like, damn, I'm I'm giving them more sauce than they're giving me. Like, and it's way more beneficial. And it's even costing they, a lot me. of people just want to teach you was as far as they can until you know what I'm saying, you're not making them any money. You know what I'm saying? Let me, they let don't me, want you to separate from what they let got me tell going you something even crazier. You know? Imagine like you're seeking guidance and information and a way and a path towards like greatness, right? From somebody. Everyone wants to see but, good, but, not better. That's but yeah, thinking. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you're dealing with somebody that wants you, yeah, he's okay with seeing you do it, but right. not better than them. Mm -hmm. Or Absolutely. Especially they actually don't know what they're talking about. They're not an yeah. expert in their field. And, and then I end up giving them information that yeah. then yeah. it's almost they like off they make money or, off, they 10X, right. they just, I've dealt with that not too many times, but enough times to be like, <laughs> yeah. enough times to realize this. A lot of people are figuring it out in real time and they're posting their highlights on social media. Like nobody has it all figured out, figured out, figured out, but they might be a couple of steps ahead of you, but that's cool. But the minute I figure out that, am, do I got more pieces to the puzzle than you? Cause I'm like, what are right, we the, doing moment, here? the moment you figure out the truth, literally the 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 lies that hide behind what they lie, you feel me? Then it's like Do you feel like it's really lies or just lack of knowledge. I wouldn't say like it. I mean, it's a it's, it's, it's a facade both. almost. Okay. Like it's it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a smoking mirrors. It's smoking mirrors. You feel me? Mm. Like they make it seem good, and then when you break it down, it's kind of like oh shit. Like even for for a situation like a mentor before I had found you know what I'm saying tapped in really tired would really mm. do was having his own situations 
And end up, I'm like, damn, I got a better credit score than you, and I'm coming for you for. That's I'm, what I'm talking. I'm okay. like, wait, what? Stuff like that. Yeah, like, like, you, gotta like talk I, I, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be able to, like, shit. Person. You talking? You got reels? You got yeah. Lambos? I better pull up when I pull up on you. I better see a fucking Lambo. Like, right. if you pull up in that little Honda, I'd be like, what the fuck, bro? You know what I'm and saying? It's, and it's, it's like some, like, imagine this is what he just said. Yeah. Somebody pulled up in a, let's say, in an old truck, but we're we're in we're in a coffee shop and he's like, I can buy this joint right now. And it's one of those things where it's like, do I believe him? Are you that humble? Like, are you a grown man that doesn't care about cars, really? Right. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up nice. I'm gonna pull up. If I got you say I'm gonna pull up nice. Like there's there's a level. There's what 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 real man who got some fucking testosterone and you know what I'm saying? saying? Don't wanna pull up nice. What the fuck? Like Or even like even modern. I'm talking old school, old school. Some like, bullshit. But you're saying you could buy this joint cash, though. I, mean, I don't know, man. You see, y'all see the way that Adam said. Oh yeah, I was around, just about to say that he walk saying, like he Gates he's man. Let me tell you something, bro. They, bro they, but like, that's crib, the only type of level of that. Dave Chappelle said that uh, who was it that he had an interview with Kanye or something like that, and he was like, "Oh, Kanye's a billionaire now, so he doesn't wear his chains." You know what I'm saying? He said, "I'm a billionaire now." Where my chains anymore? And then he ended up having to sell his deal, or they ended up giving away his deal. Or, or yeah, and then he's like, "Boy, you better bring them chains back out." Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? It's like I don't know when you get <laughs> to a certain <laughs> echelon. You know that, what I'm saying? You that. move a certain way. You know, like yeah. same with J Cole. J, J Cole, he be one of the bike. greatest artists that I've. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right, you know, boom, man. But before I'm, that, when he was, you know what I'm saying. Uh, born sinner and, and sideline mm-hmm. stories. He had the chain. He had the platinum. He always wanted platinum. You know what I'm Let saying? Let me tell you like, something. All that now humble he, shit. Too. You talk money, I, you look like money for exactly. Real. I don't buy none of that humble shit no more. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? You don't like, buy unless it. unless you're thing. a certain person though. I'm about to say. Even, even, that, even that. Okay, so you're telling me Adam Sandler, him dressing like him, that boy. What his crib look like? Is he looking? Boy, he his living? crib is big. As That's what I'm saying. That's but like what what, how he dresses. He be he be. He's also a public figure. Too, he's a so public. Like, like you know his face. You his stuff is so solidified, different. bro. People be trying to. Okay, act so like, it's solidified people that you that can be humble. Then you're saying it, it's it's so undeniable. <laughs> like like it's so your face card is undeniable, yeah. right? Like Everybody I know else, you. Guys, like, you don't like that's Denzel. I, I know. He, I think he's more saying he's like you don't got to give a fuck at that point. But if you're a businessman of a certain stature, and you want oh, to represent it, I get money, you. you know what I'm I get saying. You. You're not a fucking actor for the last 20 years. Then yeah, you yeah, know, it's you levels. Right. That Rolex, bro, bro, it's levels. Right. Everybody, well, hey, what was you, it? You know? It was Shannon Sharp. What he say? He said, "I don't, I don't wear my watch to to uh, look at the time. I wear my watch to show you how." Valuable my time is right. You feel exactly. me? Like so, if motherfucker wearing, if I see you, you got a motherfucker AP on. You, woo, you got you. You are a valuable. You valuable motherfucker. Like Colin. Colin yeah, that's yeah. why I say, hey, you driving a certain car, you got a certain value. Yeah. Like, hey, what are you? Who is this? It's, it's a, it's a difference. People try and pull that humble car, but they face card ain't even strong enough, and you got to like sort of question, does he really got it? Like I'm the thing is, pull up two million. Like that nigga got it. I get what you're saying, dog. I'm yeah, sorry, it, it, the Go thing ahead, is, man. the thing is, it's like the humble shit don't count for everybody. And there's people that try and pull that card. Is it's it's like, and then you gotta like, yeah, there's a degree to it. But naturally, in real life, if you could, you would. That's just that's just the short, sweet answer. If you could, you would. Especially the younger you are. People just like designer. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Some people like genuinely don't care about designer. And, and designer is actually sometimes it's the opposite, especially with this generation. They probably more than like don't got it. You know what I'm saying? Or, if, you know what I'm saying? It, it's levels to it. That's not this conversation. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wear that much designer. You know what I'm saying? But I'd rather spend that same amount of money that designer costs on like the custom stuff. Like this don't count. Invest in yourself. This don't count, but like right. custom stuff with my with my brand, you know, my logo, whatever. It is what it is. This ain't a conversation about designer necessarily, but it's just that if you could, you would. And then like, if I'm wondering why aren't you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's too much. You judging them. Mm. And it's okay to judge people. All y'all, all <laughs> no, three not, y'all, the ask me. Person, the only person that can judge you is God. But 
people judge all the time. All three yeah, of y'all. They, yeah, we constructive, constructive crit- criticism. Criticism. You know what I'm saying? Constructive you know what I'm saying? criticism. But like, there's there's a certain level with that, and there's a certain level where I just. What is it? All right. Speaking of judging, okay. So let's say a judge hits the hammer down and says not guilty. Are you happy or sad? Depending on what. Yeah, the, depending on yeah, what. But you know not what guilty. Saying. Like if they're trying to, if they're trying to, a judge is going to judge you. It's going to be a good outcome or a bad outcome, right? Mm-hmm. That's like the highest degree of judgment. No. Good outcome or bad outcome. God. So if, first date, first date, a lady, she's judging you the entire time. Uh-huh. We know this. Good outcome or bad outcome. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's getting judged whether you like it or not, but the context shifts the perspective on how you feel about being judged. Mm-hmm. So the whole, it's not okay to judge people, that's not a real thing. Like that happens even on the back of our minds. Like we're always being judged. Mm-hmm. But it's how you, it's how you judge. take it in. Pause. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like what I said. It, it, it's literally how you're receiving the information. <laughs> how you're receiving it. You know what I'm saying? Is it constructive criticism? <laughs> yeah. Are you or getting are offended you, you for no it? reason? Are, yeah. are, like, these are just conversations. So yeah. Because well, you I, judge I, me, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. I'm saying so. I think I don't, I'm not gonna say it's okay to judge people. I'm just like, no, judging happen, judging just happens by default. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Judging happens by default, and then like it depends on who who you're having a conversation with. Are they coming from a place of love? You know I mean, saying? as long as you're not the judgment that you pass up, you know, onto others isn't belittling. You know what I'm saying? It's different to like not want a certain kind of person in your circle, but to think you are and better well, or for some reason is like a little crazy. And then you know what I'm saying? That, like it's also you gotta think about how they're receiving your judgment. Yeah. You are you know being like, like you patronizing, you know, you know are you like, like they can be like, oh my God, this man just oh he, he doesn't understand. Hurt my soul. You know what I'm saying? And you could be I'm coming from a place of love. But that person didn't right. receive that. You feel so, me? So it's, I feel like when it comes to that way, it's, you kind of got to either know your person when you're going to do that. Yeah. So you can, so you can do it out of pace of love. Or if, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you got to be like, you got to damn near say it beforehand. Like, hey, I'm about to say some shit, but it's out of love, bro. I'm we had like, those conversations love. too. You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> it got to be, it got to be, it got to be there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm you damn near just... not even gonna say some shit like that to nobody unless I love you for real. You know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like I don't give a fuck about the fuck ups you got going on in your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's another conversation. As a friend, like if I'm seeing you, I'm I'm bro. We could be doing it. We, what you doing? You no, absolutely. What that's like, what I'm saying. Out of love, yeah, we're yeah, friends. If it's, if it's I wouldn't receive it from there, anybody else from besides yeah, you. Okay, know what I'm saying? saying like like right. you. That's present. Mm-hmm. That's your boy, your homie, your partner, whatever you're saying. Your peoples. No, yeah. hear that shit. You know, yeah. with a with because an open heart, you know, you. open minded you know, type and, and shit. And if you don't hear it, then we don't love you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's like it's like there's a hundred degrees outside. Uh, you walk in here, you're a little funky. You know what I'm saying? Your bro should be able to pull you to the side, and be like, "Hey, bro, you got some deodorant, bro." You kind of like, "Oh shit, let me stay away from the majority of people in here." Right. That shot. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, blow your nose. Something. Hey, get on point. You know, brush your shoulders off, something like that. Because the relationship is established, that's my bro. He's not going to just insult me out of the blue. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? No. If the relationship is established, I'm taking whatever he's saying. Mm -hmm. I'm taking whatever he's saying as constructive criticism off the the, the foundation that's already there. Right. So sometimes with my close homies, Mm -hmm. like even when I first meet them, I try and let them, like, when we get to know each other, mm. I told him a couple of times, like, I think maybe on the first day, from what I recall, from what I recall, I said maybe two things. I said, I'm not perfect, and I'm raw and unfiltered. And there's a previous podcast where I say all my teams crash and burn because I am so unfiltered. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to come from a place of hate. That boy don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to, I cannot afford to filter What's but in you here? don't think that you would have like develop a a more constructive, creative team if you were to like, you know, like take that kind of shit into consideration. Bit, like, there's a way to say it. Like, I I love the way that you think and the the way that you come across is a whole nother thing. You know what well, I'm saying? So like, like, <laughs> like it's like you're unapologetically you, and I don't hate you for it. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the best qualities about you, but. 
for certain individuals. Like, we all got thick skin in here. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But And we're all men, you know what I'm saying? We're the boys. We can handle yeah. it. But when it comes to, like, whoever's outside of this space, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might... They better, might not be strong. You know enough, what I'm bro. saying? Like, you might fuck around, fuck up a client type shit because you just so goddamn real. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just. Yeah, I didn't say that. Just fuck dial you. it back sometime or like find another way to that's say it just, it so, just to reach that. You know what I'm and saying? And that's something that I like, when I, like I just said, ouch, when people are getting to know me, I'm a first let them know. First thing about me, I'm not perfect. Just a heads up. Like, just a pre- yeah. And then the second thing I'm gonna <laughs> tell you, <laughs> I'll be unfiltered. Yeah. I'll yeah, be yeah. say, I'll be, I'll be so one, I'm not perfect, but keep that in mind when but I'm being a hundred percent honest. But it's saying? not to coming from a place of malice. It. Again, though, to be conscious of it is another thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, you have to identify when it's happening. Exactly. Identify your subject and identify. Is your skin strong enough? And I'll be asking permission sometimes. Sometimes I'll still remember to ask permission. Hey, do I have permission to uh, be a hundred with you right now? Can I not sugarcoat what I'm about to tell you? You know what I'm saying? Because Dude, I would only do that's that nice with somebody little, you know, I really like, fucks you know? with. Yeah, that's a good way to slide Ice your breaker, slide, you know? You can eat in your head, you be like... All right, he's about to lay it on me right you now. Know? Pause. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Ty, get the... I'm gone, bro. <laughs> this nigga hit me with three pauses. I, I didn't think I was going... All right, go ahead. Yeah, continue, because continue, sometimes... Continue, continue. Sometimes I be talking fast, <laughs> right? Sometimes I be talking fast. Sometimes shit. I be trying to get my point across. And if I got to squeeze in the sugar, if I got to sprinkle the sugar... Mm-hmm. It be making my, I be long winded as hell with what I'm really trying to say. Beating around the bush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they'll be irritated. They'll be, they'll, no, they'll, no, be, they'll be trying, trying to, to say. Yeah, hang on no. to be like, <laughs> yeah, what are you yeah. trying to say? And yeah. no, wait, 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 wait. What I'm saying is I'm being as direct as yeah, I can, yeah. bro. And they'll be like, but I feel like you're trying to say, but no, I'm just saying what, this one thing, focus on me right here. You know what I'm saying? I have a bad sugar coating thing. I, I don't have that ability. It's like mm-hmm. a stab them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all you know why? It's all salt in the womb, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of wish, like, I had, I had no, no father figure in my life, right? No. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of wish I had somebody that could whip you into shape. Yes, because here, imagine, <laughs> uh, yo, but just imagine if you had. <laughs> Nah, but for real. <laughs> Imagine if you had the the world's most polite personal trainer. I'm like, come on, get up you're, there. You're you not got small. it, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're not Bob. You're not Bob. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 if you want six, and then he's like, you can't do seven. Nah, all right, sorry, good, and bro. Every time he he, you know. You know, no, so you ain't lift the, the world is not a nice place. That's you know what, what I'm saying. saying. The world is not a nice place, and I get, I definitely get what you're putting Look, down. If the world's not a nice place. Saying, like, get bu- so I <laughs> wish I had a straight shooter. Yeah, you know what I'm absolutely, saying. Yeah, you so I want to keep straight. it utterly real with a you straight all the time. Shooter, yeah. you don't shoot straight. Like tell it, tell me, tell me the stuff that because I'm seeking information I don't already know, mm. and I don't need you to sugarcoat nothing for me. Like tell me. Nigga, you need to be up at 6 a.m. and stop making excuses. Of course your body's not going to agree with you that you need to get out of bed. Of course you're going to try and hit the snooze button. If you don't have somebody there to tell you to get your ass up, that self-discipline is not easy. Some people do it regardless of it not being easy. But damn, I wish I had one person. Like one person, nigga, accountability, you know, an accountability person to like... Keep me in shape mentally as an entrepreneur, whatever it is. So anybody that's not on my level, I'm going to talk to them unfiltered to that degree because we already established it's all love. You know what I'm saying? So it, it be like that sometimes. Yeah, man, that's why we here, though, bro. That's why we got a team together. For 100%. That, you know what I'm saying? Hell We're yeah, because any bro. jab I give you, you should be able to give me. And we yeah, just, absolutely, man. Bro. It, it can't be, it can't be like. Just be electrifying. Because it can be draining trying to lift people absolutely. up. Absolutely. No, yeah. You, you got to lift people right, up to sure. where you are. And I'm like, who's lifting me up? Damn it. Like, and, it, and it, it's the thing about this whole networking thing. Your top five is so important. So if you don't have enough people in your top five and everybody you looking down, I don't want to be looking down. No, we all eye to eye. We speaking man to man and we don't need no sugar coating. We don't got time for sugar coating. Why? Because we don't have enough people that are like at such a high level. You know what I'm saying? These billionaires don't tolerate excuses. 
what I'm saying? These multi-millionaires, we got to think of what would they say to this? How many teams do you think that you've been through aside from, you know, us all getting together? Like, I've always been, Hold like, psh, probably, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it started, like, it's just it's just been an ongoing thing, right? When I was at the center of my, my friends, as far as the guy, I'm hitting the record button on the videos and the audios. I'm editing, blah, blah, blah. They're like, I'm, like, steering the ship. I'm shooting the videos. I'm editing the videos. I'm... Recording the music, I'm finalizing the music, mastering. I don't got the skills to master. So you feel it. like you were just. I'm pulling. designing the mixtape covers. I'm literally, you know what I'm saying. And all yeah, they had were, to do, you were the gears, you, were you know what I'm saying. All they had to do was Smiling their there. part. But if they're like making excuses why they can't even do their part, oh yeah. I'm like, how do I sugarcoat, bro? Just do your part. Just nah, show up and stand life, in front brother. of the mic. I feel like we've all ran through a, a decent <laughs> amount of people before we end up, you know, finding the good ones in our life for real. Right. Like, and it's I, like hundreds. I can hundreds. make it look easy. No, no. Even if I'm making it look easy, like please don't think like this is easy for me. Just because like, like, yeah, that's what I'm like. That's why I'm like, bro, did you forget you work two jobs? I like, how is that easy for anybody? Like, maybe you enjoyed it. I I was like, that's why I was like. No, that shit was ass, boy. I'd be up at seven in the morning. I was from Schaumburg to uh, what Park Ridge. Be there at seven fifteen or something. And all I was off at like four. <sighs> go to the video at like six. Be there till like ten. Go home, edit some shit that I done shot the day before. Wake up and at the, six and do it, it all again. I feel like the advice they gave us was always backwards. They always say, like, oh, enjoy your life when you're young, you know, all that. And like, fuck that. Bust your ass while you're young so you can enjoy the rest of your life as soon as you can. You exactly. Know what I'm and that's like, that's why. But that's what Corporate America did. You know, they only want yeah. you to do. No, yeah. Be tired and be like, ah, oh, I just work this nine to five. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's like, that's where I'm at with it. It's just like, if I'm not happy with where I am, Right, and I got so much more to go, and I'm trying to get somebody to catch up to me, so we can now go together to the top and make millions. Man, it's all—it's just exhausting. But at the end of the day, like mentally, one, we got to start reading the same books because I feel like part of the way I am—I read a few Steve Jobs books back to back, and what they say about him—he was an asshole, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? He was a straight shooter. Like who else? Are you gonna read a, a documentary about a read read a biopic or what or read read a book about the biggest boss? You know what I mean? And then how many times you heard Kanye reference Steve Jobs? I'm the new Steve Jobs. I don't care. I'm gonna be on filter. I ain't got time. He, he speak his mind. You know what I mean? So that's damn, true. I keep saying he's a billionaire. So you know, so it's that's the level I'm trying to operate on <clears throat> because we're like so far from that. And it's like, man, I need y'all to catch up. He did either like if it's not gonna come from me, hey, I'm gonna send y'all some some podcast clips from some millionaires and just listen, hear it from Alex Harmozy or Myron Golden. Same stuff I was saying, but it's more stamp when they when it's coming from them, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, at the end of the day. Um, last thing I do want to touch on, right? Because a lot of people will go on how they feel about a situation and they be ignoring the facts. You know, this ain't that full podcast yet, but us growing a team, me trying to get everybody on the same page. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Below's funding in the process because we, we're not going to talk too much about it. Uh, I don't believe in luck, but sometimes I do believe in jinxing things. So, and you got to protect your energy and just, you know, by the time this is out, we already got the results we're looking for. But funny thing is what we do, a, a, a method to keep our clients and VIP accountable, we use spreadsheets, right? So we put a to-do list together. When you get consultation with us, we're going to get you together so you know what's next. And we're going to ask you to document where you are. That's part of that's part of what we got to offer, too, that with that course. It's actually a lot of spreadsheets in there that you can download and track, document your life. And you, it's like a scoreboard of where you actually are in life, Num numbers-wise, right? You track your, your profit, your losses, your income, your expected income, your menu, what you offer to the world, your marketplace. That's on, that's a side topic, but long story short, we provide that 
for everybody that's on the team, right? We built his from scratch. I ain't give him the template. We built it from scratch and we found out what are the most monthly expenses. Like, what are you spending money on the most, right? So we put a business plan together, a game plan together for b -Low. I believe it was when we had the conversation, it was like 18 days ago. And we instructed you to go get some, go get some accounts open. And I'm sure you have a reason. So I kind of remember part of the reason was we were waiting for a business address to get updated. Yes. We were waiting on that. Yeah. That right, took cool. like a right, week cool. for real. Other than that, between time, like he kind of forgot. No. You ain't forget. Don't put words in my mouth. Mm -mm. No, no, I'm saying, mm -mm. I'm saying what happened. I feel like no. you forgot the conversation we had in person based off of something. I didn't like forget the conversation we had in person, but going we have we have I have a lot of duties here as the GM for HQ Chicago. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like I'm here late nights a lot of the times, you know. I do have to I can give you a list of excuses, but you know, you're not a person that really wants to hear them. <laughs> so it's like I don't really know I, I don't really know how to like go about that actually now that I come to think about the conversation being told because I could literally tell you every single reason why for each day, but I can't get too personal as far as what yeah, yeah, yeah. life shit is life going on, the way. you know what I'm saying? And then I'd rather not touch on yeah. too much about anything else, you know what I'm saying? Like that was misunderstanding. What I would say is the address held stuff up. Mm -hmm. So I ain't even like the days go by, like we're all asking ourselves, like, yo, we need more progress. We need more momentum, right? We got, me and CVO got the call from you, like, yo, what's up with this momentum? We need more progress. So we all get in sync. We stop what we're doing and we're like, all right, let's, like, what, what's, what's, what's the missing piece here? We didn't bring up the address, but we was like, how, well, we gave you the blueprint to get the accounts open. And then we were asking ourselves, why were these accounts open? And then it, it went back to, the conclusion I got from it was like, it was kind of based on how you feel. Like we should have got more done by now, but then we did give you homework. You know but what I'm saying? Going off of the things that I was only in control of what I should have done for mm -hmm. about a week. So mm -hmm. how I felt, the frustration I felt throughout the process, it's been a long one. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, you know, on top of everything else on my plate, you know, like, yeah, it can get a little, you know. Frustrating. Frustrating. Yeah. To say the least. But you know we're saying? not going to dive into too much detail, yeah. but I think that was that was an amusing, it's worth an interesting conversation mm -hmm. because sometimes, end of the day, like, some clients or people that we're working with, they, whatever, life can get in the way, but then, like, that's why I like to track and put dates on your goals. Put the date that you write the goal down, right, and the deadline for getting it done, right? Because it's not just you. I'd have had clients where we want to get more funding, we want to get more funding, but I'm telling them, hey, did you get this appointment done? Did you get this done? Did you get that done? Stuff that I literally can't do for them, you know? And this is like more general, a more general thing. And I want y'all to be on top of, hold yourselves accountable, but make sure you're working with people that will, you know, make sure. I don't sure. like being the example of this. That's cool. That's why I'm making it more general. I've had a clients After that, making me the example. Of this, I mean, <laughs> yeah, fuck? it is what it is. But at the end of the day, like by the time <clears throat> they see this, you're going to get some fun in anyways. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we can chop this. We can chop this up. How we need to chop it up? Yeah, no, it's gonna have to. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is not going to podcast, guys. This is the end of the segment. We just no, nah, but never we came didn't, to we, a I, common I, ground I, about wait, the but, conversations. To, so to conversate about it on the podcast wouldn't be appropriate. It's crazy. Yes. You know yeah, 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 yeah. I'm even nervous to have conversations that are not recorded because people forget what the hell. They just said with right. their own words, and we right. gonna get into it too. Um, Bilo, are you talking? Are you how on the scale of one to ten? How comfortable are you talking about your business Ass. funding process? With your honest, your honest like frustration. <laughs> that would Fuck be funny. Shit. That would be funny because you didn't realize. Well, but if you want to keep that off camera, just say it right now. I'm gonna completely not mention that at all. It's triggering. No, it's not doing that. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you for being honest with that. Yeah. CBO, what you got going on here? Yeah. We can talk about it. 
Excellent. We can? We can. Okay, okay cool. These are real conversations that we have as a team that I'm letting y'all know. Some people think they down bad and it's all about perspective. All, all, I, all I was ultimately saying because- I just don't like that you're about to make me an example out of that situation. Yeah, I don't like that you're about to make me an example either. You shouldn't like, try to use them to get some I'm saying I thought we came to an understanding for that, you know? But I didn't drop a name, and I didn't get into specifics, so it could have been anybody. Yeah, but I'm moving around. Yeah, but this is that that like is also respecting like. To me, it wasn't respectful. A good topic would have been that conversation we had with. I told him the podcast ain't gonna do it. He said he's drunk. I didn't say that. I just don't. Nah, he good. We can use this situation as an example. But I feel like CEO forgot about the struggle. Well, I'm still struggling, but. <laughs> <laughs> you asked him about this type of girl. He didn't ask me about my type of girl. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ye